Remember, Highlander, you've both still got your full measure of life. Use it well, and your future will be glorious. And Christopher Lambert returns to BBC One next Friday in Highlander 3, The Sorcerer, at 5 past 11. Brace yourself for a Hammer Horror Classic starring Christopher Lee, The Devil Rides Out, after the weather on BBC One. seen a thousand years of war, we're running out of time. She said, I want to get it right, want to live this life. Got to get out now, get out of this town. Heaven's gonna know you ever known it. Go cold, he said, I know where to go. Paradise is found, gonna find a way. Gonna give you a home, she said. You're my man, I put my trust in you. Down the street in a lonely, lonely town Had to learn how to fight Just to make it work out He said, it's not like you thought It's gonna be so tough You better hang on tight I put my trust in you Who are you? I am just a figment of your imagination. They are the best kept secret on the planet. Hey, what's this thing? Their mission, to monitor extraterrestrial life on Earth. Anything about that seem unusual to you? Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith are our best. It's freaking you out? Last and only line of defense. Shut it up. I don't watch that thing. They work in secret. I knew it. This is an alien, and you guys are from some government agency trying to keep it under wraps. And they dress in black. I'll make this look good. The men in black have arrived. Fasten your seatbelt. The network premiere, Tuesday at 8.30 on BBC One. As the Brits hit Hollywood. America's the place to be these days. There are two guys <laughs> who won't be at the Oscars. I will make sure that you never work in this town again. Mark Addy and Alex Jennings. Are you all like typical of English guys? Yes. Chasing their dreams in the city of angels. This is the stuff Hollywood legends are made from. Too much sun. Can I just watch them? Next Friday at 10.35 on BBC One. It was all about success, food and money. A late look at the weather on BBC One now with David Brain. Hello again and welcome to Weatherview. Before I give you the forecast, I thought we'd start by having a look back on the events through the week where we've had these dreadful flood problems. Now we've had some very wet weather for about three or four weeks, culminating through Wednesday and into Thursday of some very heavy bursts of rain in those areas that have been affected by the floodwaters. Between 80 and 160 millimetres of rain, if you want that in simpler terms, that's about half a foot of rain in the space of three days and large parts of Sussex across to Kent became flooded and still a problem right now but hopefully things through the weekend should ease down. These are some of the shots we saw through Thursday where the floodwaters really did get going and a large part as I mentioned of East Sussex and into parts of Kent saw those floodwaters rise. It's beginning to ease off now and hopefully over the weekend things should calm down just that little bit. Well, the big picture shows this satellite picture way out to the west. Now, this looks a bit threatening, but the majority of the rain will fall in some of the more western parts of the United Kingdom and across Northern Ireland up into Scotland overnight tonight and through tomorrow. These weather systems gradually getting closer and closer, straddling the United Kingdom lunchtime on Saturday, and then perhaps moving just that little bit further back towards the Atlantic as we move into Sunday. Not quite reaching the southeast. That's good news, so hopefully remaining dry here. Now, overnight tonight, we're going to see quite a bit of rain left across these more western areas. Sheltered eastern parts, especially East Anglia and the southeast of England, not only will turn quite chilly, down to four or five degrees, but also quite misty and foggy in places. And this is our warning, really. If you are travelling through the night and the early hours of the morning, southeast England and also East Anglia, seeing some of those tricky driving conditions because of the fog. So that's the forecast for Saturday morning. This central part, the spine of the country, seeing some outbreaks of rain. Brighter dry conditions moving into Northern Ireland as well as parts of Scotland. So here a little bit better through the afternoon. But the possibility of some heavier bursts of rain moving through these areas. That's something we'll have to watch. And a top temperature of around 11 or 12 degrees. So whilst the floodwaters begin to ease off in the southeast of England, there's a risk, I think, of some more rain coming into the southwestern parts of England, up into Wales and also the Midlands. And through the weekend, there is a number you can ring, the floodline number 0845 988 1188 for further information. On a lighter note, we have some sports events the weekend. The Rugby League Super 
League Grand Final. That's St Helens versus Wigan. That's kick-off in the evening, Saturday evening. It could be a bit wet here with a fair amount of rain around. And that band of cloud and rain lingering through Sunday but gradually easing off. And in fact, it should be dry by the end of the afternoon. Either side of that, some bright weather, although wet and windy weather trying to get into western Scotland as well as the more western parts of Northern Ireland. Not just ourselves seeing the wet weather. Southern parts of France also have caught a packet of rain, 66 millimetres in Lyon in southern France and all the way down into Mallorca. 34 in Palmer in 12 hours through Friday. But the forecast, I think, if you are heading into Europe, is a little bit dry. And certainly Spain and Portugal seeing some fine dry weather, a bit cooler here. Some rain over the Alpine regions of France, but it's really the eastern side of Europe that sees the best of the sunshine as you move through Saturday and Sunday. That's all from me. Have a good weekend. When Len left prison... I'm announcing my retirement. I'm going straight. ...and made up his mind... I don't want to do it anymore! All he needed was the support of his wife. You've got to go back on the rob, Len. What? You can't expect me to survive on a run out to Marks and Sparks when the devil's really got me. The understanding of his family. What about my dad dealing with my problems? Regrets, Carl. Terrible thing. That's not the I don't. And a new choice of career. Gentlemen, a certain amount of contact with dead bodies is to be expected. You have to take a leap into the dark. Pete Postlethwaite faces. I trusted you. I treated you like family. Can I talk? Oh, shut up! Temptation at every turn. Pride. I'm different. Covetousness. I want that mug tomorrow. Lust. The world's gone sex mad. Envy. <laughs> Greed. Good Anger. And slow. The Sins new drama starts Tuesday the 24th of October on BBC One. Late Night Horror Now starring Christopher Lee, only this time he's the good guy, out to save a friend from Satanists on BBC One. The Devil Rides Out.